which leaves us with the atom array in the center. The atom array was made, it was technically made as just a, a programming experiment, and then someone said, hey, that's actually quite useful. Give us it. So they did. What you do is you take some sort of shape. I'm going to go for a platonic shape here. And I'm going to set it, its formation to a carbon 60 buckyball. To everyone else, this is a football. Unless you're American. Anyway, so here's our C60 bucky football. We grab a atom array. Drop the object inside. And oh look, a nice molecular collection of sticks and balls. How wonderfully useful if you need such a thing. Uh, yeah, mo model your shape, stick it inside, and it will turn each edge and point and polygon into this nice sticks and balls structure for you. I've never used this for a molecular stick and ball structure. I'm sure this has a real name I should know about. Maybe I'll look that up later. Uh, I've never used it for this. Um, instead, I've just used it for its structural changes. Because you see in the atom array, you can choose the size of the spheres and the size of the balls individually. Take a look down here. This is your sphere radius. And what you can really do is shrink them down to the point where you can't see them. You can't, you can't turn them completely off because they're going to make up the, the joints at the corners. But if you shrink the radius of the sphere down to the same radius as your cylinder, then what you'll find is they, for all intents and purposes, vanish. So if you'd like some sort of greenhouse, then what you can do is duplicate the object inside, control, click and drag, and there you go, you've now got a potentially a glass object with a perfect fitting frame going around the outside. Uh, what you can also do is use them for structural things. So if you need a construction crane on a, a building yard or well, what I believe is called tri-mesh if you're doing any exhibition display stands you often have this tri-mesh structural stuff behind the stands. What you can do is take your something like a cube Let's just turn the lines back on. I'm going to stretch the height. Let's make a quick construction crane thing. And with the segments on the height, this is the Y direction. Y is the green direction, by the way. Increase this, turn it up, and drop this inside an atom array. And you'll get a nice quick bit of structural stuff to keep your construction crane up. Now, again, I'm just going to quickly do something where you don't have to follow the exact buttons I press, but just to show you the sort of thing I mean, I can make it editable, I can go to the polygons, and if I right-click, I can triangulate them. Oops, let's move that up a bit. I can triangulate them, which means I will now get these triangular pieces. So I've got a, a nice internal structure, which would actually, in theory, possibly work. But uh, again, I'll show you all these polygon things and various triangulate and functions a bit later when we get into the modeling. But for now, this is the sort of thing you could use it for with the atom array object.